Hello, everyone. It is the second Thursday, or excuse me, the last Thursday of the month, which means that it is Realty Community Call Day. So thank you, everyone who is attending. Uh, I give a, a short little preamble while we uh, wait for kind of the, the room to fill up and make sure uh, the people that are straggling who are coming a little bit late can, can get here. But that preamble is that this is the opportunity to uh, everyone who is part of the realty community, everyone who owns uh, different properties, uh, um, the owners of, of the entire world can come into one single room and be a community together. Uh, the, the cool thing about cryptocurrency and blockchain platforms and realty is that we kind of break down the borders of what it means to uh, invest in real estate from all over the world. And so uh, never before are properties owned by hundreds of different, uh, different people from um, 40 plus different countries. Uh, and so uh, we want to offer this as an opportunity to be in the same room, to be, um, to be all together as a community. Uh, the, the conversations in Telegram and in Discord are super vibrant. So this is an, an opportunity to, to all come together and, un, and then also interact with, with us, the team. Um, and so in these uh, weekly reports, which happen at 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern time, and then 6 p.m. Uh, CEST time, uh, we do this every two weeks, every other Thursday. Uh, thank you. I also love my plants. And uh, the uh, best part about this is that you can come and ask questions to the team. There's, if you are in the call, in the Zoom call, there is a Q&A function. You can ask questions. Uh, these videos are recorded and put onto YouTube for you guys to be able to view them later. But if you are here in the Zoom with us when we do this live, uh, it's an opportunity to get your answer uh, directly, uh, your question directly answered. Um, so with all of that, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a pretty simple meeting today. We have um, so, uh, some, some progress that we've uh, did in the last few weeks that we want to go over and then also um, uh, show stuff that is coming soon. Um, so it looks like the room is filling up pretty well. Uh, so th again, thank you everyone for being here on time in the uh, Realty Community Call. Um, so again, hit the uh, Q&A button. Um, I think it's the Q&A button. I actually don't know what it looks like from the uh, attendee side of things. Um, but to, if you want your question asked, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, the first uh, topic of conversation that, that we're going to talk about is uh, the uh, Somerset property. We released the Somerset property uh, last week on Friday, sold out in an hour and 45 minutes. Um, which is just fantastic. It was a great property. Remy found it a, a week ago. Uh, I, I, I think it's one of my favorite properties. It's got the Ivy on the wall, which I really like. Um, and yeah, it's, it sold in an hour, 45 minutes. At the same time, uh, gas prices on Ethereum are insane. Uh, so during the time of sale, we had uh, the gas prices at over 100 guay, which, and also at the same time, Ether price has gone from like 230 to 330 which also compounds the cost of gas, right? And so the way we currently uh, send out tokens is you purchase a token. And then if you're not on the whitelist, we make a transaction to put you on the whitelist. And then we make another transaction to send you the tokens, right? And so that's two transactions uh, per customer. Uh, and there's definitely ways to improve this. And so what we did was that we, uh, uh, after our, our, our lead Solidity dev, um, put his head down and built out this bulk transfer system. So uh, we, we redeployed a new token contract, which all future properties will follow this new token contract. And so you will be able to, uh, we will be able to distribute these tokens in a bulk fashion. And so uh, what this happens is it combines the, the whitelist tr uh, transaction and it combines the token transfer transaction and it combines everyone's orders all into one transaction. So instead of uh, there, there were over 200 orders, right? 230 orders for the Somerset property. So there were going to be 230 times two transactions. So 460 total transactions. Now, moving forward, when we do this, it will just be one. Uh, it will be one very large transaction, but it will just be one transaction. Um, the, as the realty community has grown larger and larger and larger, uh, these properties are selling out faster and faster and faster, uh, which means that this is going to be something that we are going to be doing uh, probably forever, right? Um, the, the faster they sell out, just the more reason there is to just lump all of these together. Uh, and so, you know, the next single family property home that we list, we assume it's gonna sell out pretty quickly. Uh, and so we will be doing this bulk transfer mechanism just to save time, resources, energy, gas, et cetera. Um, 
uh, the we were we we tried to do it as fast as possible, but without um, but also getting it right. When we were issuing the first Somerset tokens, they were going to previous uh, previous addresses. Um, people's like people have two addresses or multiple addresses, right? Uh, and so uh, the the it was going to pre uh, people's previous address. And so uh, while we were distributing that token, doing it live, uh, we we paused that in order to patch that and send it out again on on Monday. And so on Monday we had the system polished off and ready to go. Um, so there a few people had their tokens transferred to their old address. Um, if you, if, the, if this uh, um, relates to you, please let us know and, and we'll fix it. Um, but I think everything is already fixed anyways. Um, so it was a little hiccup because we were trying to get that out the door really quickly, but it's ultimately polished and, and ready to go for future properties, which is pretty exciting. Um, yeah, okay. The, the next update is the rent payment update. Uh, so we're, we're slowing down uh, the rent payment system from every three days of our rent cycle to every seven days. Um, and again, this is just because gas on Ethereum is insanely high. There's the, this DeFi mania going on, this yield farming going on. Um, and so everyone's, everyone wants block space. Everyone wants uh, to pay high transaction fees. And so that just makes it un infeasible for us to be sending out rent at a high tick rate. Um, we've talked about the rent uh, distribution mechanism that we're building before, and that's, that's still coming. It's just DeFi uh, beat us beat us to the punch, um, if you will. And so uh, rent day was yesterday, uh, and then the next time we send out rent will be Wednesday of early, uh, early August. So um, that's what it is. Uh, something that's coming to the website is direct crypto payments. Um, kind of like paying with Coinbase, but we're doing it natively to Realty. Um, so we don't really need Coinbase anymore. We kind of want more control as, um, as a company. We want more control over uh, paying directly in crypto to us. Uh, and so that's coming, coming to the website. Uh, ben, Tori, really the whole development team is, is working super hard on that. And this will just make it an easier uh, process, both for the user as well as for, for us to be able to handle direct crypto payments. Um, and so uh, we're going to roll it out with just Ether uh, to start with because Ether is easiest. Uh, and then shortly DAI and USDC will come after that. Uh, and then also Tether. And then, and then uh, we'll get the Bitcoin system up and running as well. Um, so that should be rolling out, um, rolling out pretty soon here. Uh, let me get to the Q&A questions. Is there a limit to the number of transactions in this bulk transfer app? No, that's what's super cool about this. And so, you know, there, there could be, you know, a thousand different token transfers inside of one single bulk transfer. Um, so super efficient, super efficient. There's, there's no limit. Um, what's realty strategy for the housing market from now to next year in consideration of the current COVID and economic uh, situation? Um, I can answer, answer that. Yeah, 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 I can answer that. Hi, um, Remy will probably add some um, details to that. But right now, we believe that single family houses are going to continue to be popular, if not even more so. Uh, little yard, white picket fence, and the white picket fence we intend to put around our properties. We'll have some updates on that. There's a cost to it, but it looks super nice. Um, People will want to, it will be easy to isolate or to have a more, uh, less of a um, uh, encountering other people for COVID purposes or whatsoever. So we're still very bullish on the um, single family homes. However, we are focusing very uh, much on a small multifamily properties, small, I mean, six to 12 uh, units. Uh, it's a perfect balance between scale of uh, operations and um, having their own little yard still and some isolation, or they can be even large families or extended families that move in into one such a small multi-residential. So we're looking at those, um, focusing on this, targeting quite a few of them. Uh, we believe that that's going to be a very good market in the pre-COVID um, situ um, era. And we are looking at larger residential uh, deals, but only if they have a specific characteristic uh, to them. For instance, uh, if they are already uh, or there's a contract with uh, veterans um, organizations, or if there is a uh, demand uh, in a specific area close to a campus for uh, hospitals or universities. But at that, those deals, which would be larger, we're talking about 40 to 100 units, would be few and far between uh, in the near future. 
We're also looking at uh, developing other cities still close to Detroit. So uh, <laughs> what next property? <laughs> Thank you guys, I love you. Um, we're looking at developing other properties in the Midwest uh, area. And uh, for other countries, we're still working on it. We don't think it will be uh, until late 2020 or early 2021. Voila. Awesome. Thanks for that, John Mark. Um, Mitchell asks, uh, will you guys accept banked transfers in the future? Uh, yeah, that is something that we're looking at. We are looking at the ramp network for uh, enabling SEPA transfers. Uh, I don't know if anyone has used ramp before, but they're in various uh, DeFi apps. I believe they're uh, integrated into Zerion and, and a few others. Um, and so this this would allow for for instant SEPA transfer. Um, th there's just a number of things that we're also working on it, uh, simultaneously, but that is that is one of them. So that 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 is coming. Yes. Uh, okay. And that is oh oh no I answered all of them. Okay. Um, that is all of the topics that we have. So it's going to be a pretty short meeting today. So if you have any further questions, please let us know. Um, and while I wait for any further questions to come in, uh, happy fifth birthday to Ethereum. So that's pretty cool. That's today. Uh, and then also Realty is, is one and a half years old as well. Uh, and so I think that's pretty cool that Realty's lifespan is uh, becoming an increasingly larger and larger percentage of, of Ethereum's total uh, lifespan as well. So just wanted to end on that note. Um, and so again, this, uh these calls... Go ahead, we have one thing to speak about the this token that appeared from I don't know where. Ah, yes. Right. Okay. So somebody in the uh, uh, Telegram reported that there is a fake real token and they didn't really do a good job copying it. Um, but they uh, minted a token with kind of our, the, the same similar uh, token name that you see in Etherscan. So it starts with real t a real token and then numbers and then they put them in Uniswap. Uh, don't buy it. It's not ours. Uh, you know, Permissionless protocols like Ethereum are permissionless, so no one can. We can't really stop anyone from minting tokens with similar names to us. However, it has nothing to do with Realty. Uh, we didn't mint it. Uh, they're valueless, as far as I as far as I can tell. Um, so, if if you guys could a keep an eye out for that, and and b if uh, if you can also make sure that other people are aware of this and know that that is not a real token that is issued by Realty, uh, we would uh, definitely appreciate that. Um, I'll I'll put. I'll, I'll talk with Remy and John Mark to see if we actually want to show the link in uh, Discord and Telegram. We may not even want to want to do that. Um, yeah, so just be aware. Um, yeah. I will answer the question, when will the first appraisal take place? The first appraisal for Marlowe is set to take place in the mid of September. There's been some delays because of COVID and all this, so, but, not, but not big, big delays. So we're pretty pleased for a while. We were worried that there will be even more. It turns out that it's just a few months, which really is good. So, and then they'll start rolling in. Fantastic. Okay, awesome. Thank you everyone for attending. Again, these calls well, happen. One thing, one thing, is there anything the community could help um, besides buying all the tokens? <laughs> yes, spread the word and please bring your friends to the community. If it's just to see what we do on Telegram and on Discord, or bring them through the affiliate program. This is what Realty needs is, is you to bring us your friends to join the movement. Actually, I see more questions coming in, David, before we yes. hang up. Uh, let's get at them. Um, can we get a Uniswap link on each property's web page to avoid that fake token on Uniswap? Asked by Marco Sullivan. I think they're there already. We already have them on our web page. Yeah, the, the tokens that are on Uniswap do have the, the Uniswap links. Um, yeah. Uh, one hour 45, wasn't it the Devonshire Road? Um, Devonshire also sold out um, pretty quickly. I don't know the time on Devonshire well, yeah, off the top of my head. Liberal did it in an hour and 15 minutes and Devonshire in an hour and 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still yet to break an hour, but it's definitely coming. It's definitely coming. Um, will there be an option for buyers who would like to make a sizable investment even before properties are available? Um, so this is a complex question that can have a number of uh, triggers to it. The, the answer traditionally is no. 
end of story. You want to make a sizable investment, thank you. We can do a wire transfer option for you and you can buy all the tokens that are available at that time. However, the reason why it can be a little bit more complex is we are considering, um, and we've been speaking about it for a while. So I know that you're telling, ah, yeah, you've been talking about it for a long time, Jean-Marc, but we are considering making the possibility of um, having some people come in before the rehab takes place. And that usually is not, it's not our mission statement at Realty where we want to promote a passive income. And yet but, we've had a number of people asking for that. Especially right? right now with the high demand for Section 8 property, um, exactly. it is very easy to fill up the buildings. If you see certain places in the U.S., actually most states in the U.S., are turning um, motels and uh, hotels into section, temporary Section 8 apartments to be able to satisfy the demand. So the rehab project is really something very sexy right now uh, due to the market condition. And that answers also the question on the economical market uh, situation in the US. But yes, class A and class B apartment are taking a very, very hard hit. Class C and C minus, not so much, actually a little bit of the opposite. Yeah, and so for the, if we do a big rehab project <coughs> before and we allow investors to come in before the rehab, in that case, in that situation, larger investors that are interested in this kind of investment, it is there won't be income for a number of months while we do the rehab, while we do the thing. So they must be aware of that. Uh, the value of the token um, might go up, but it will be impossible to sell during the period of the rehab. Uh, people that buy the token will be locked during the rehab process. And once only the property has been stabilized and has a good solid uh, income, will uh, it be uh, they open to others and will you be able to sell your tokens? So we're designing this, we're thinking about it because as Remy said, a lot of opportunities are coming uh, right now on the market and we believe that it might um, be a good thing to propose to some token holders that are interested in that specifically. So I hope that answered your question. Um, voilà. Thank you. Uh, BTC LTC Digger says, when next date? Uh, I don't believe we have any current plans to I'm, expand. Actually, is that, is that actually, wrong? actually, actually yeah. I'm going back on the road on uh, August 9th to look at the two properties and the two different states. So I'm going back for a 23 hour, 24 hour drive, but uh, it's going to be worth it. Is Realty capable or willing to go cross chain to maybe a little less fee structure? I, I think that question is, are, are we willing to issue tokens on a different blockchain that has less fees? So yeah, there, there's nothing um, unique about Realty that locks us into Ethereum. So any sort of smart contract platform that has demand for real tokens there, we have, there there's nothing stopping us from issuing tokens there. Um, it's just A, is there demand? Uh, and, and B, how hard is it to juggle both? Um, but yeah, there's nothing really intrinsically that locks us into Ethereum. Okay. Uh, there's a question about the new distribution method. I think I think there uh, your guy you are asking about the rent distribution method. Uh, method. We haven't um, leveraged the new rent distribution method yet. We're still we're, we're still on on the old method. So no, there are not any problems with it. Okay. I think that is it. Okay. Uh, like like I said, we do this every two weeks, 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern time, and 6 p.m. CEST time every other Thursday. So uh, please mark that on your calendars, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you.